I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on distance, time and speed. Here is question number 10. It is the last question of our top 10 questions on this topic. And I hope you have understood the topic in details. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, two trains of same length are traveling in opposite directions. They cross a tree in four and five seconds respectively. That means their speeds are different, right? Find the time they will take to cross each other. That's interesting. So we have two trains, right? So let's say this is length of one train and that is the length of the other train. Now they are traveling in opposite directions. So this train is going in this direction. The other one is coming in that direction. So they are traveling in opposite direction. And let us say there is some tree here, right? So there is some tree here and they cross this tree. One of the trains take four seconds to cross us. The other one takes five seconds. The idea is find the time they will take to cross each other, right? So the whole trains crossing each other. That is the question for us. Is that clear to you, right? Okay, so let us see. When they cross the tree, they are actually traveling the distance of their length, right? So important to understand is cross tree. Basically means traveling. Length. Or tree that is very important to understand, right? So let us say there is a two trains of same length, right? So so let the length be L, right? So both the trains have length L. Okay. Now, what is the speed? When the time taken for first one is 4, right? So the speed of 1, let's say speed of 1, will be length over 4, correct? And the speed of the second train will be length over 5. And when we say find the time, they will take to cross each other. So when they are crossing each other, means what? That means total length or total distance will be how much? L plus L, right? So which is 2L. So total distance is 2L. Since they are moving in opposite direction, what is the relative velocity? And relative velocity will be add these two speeds, speed 1 plus speed 2. Is that clear to you, right? So you do add these speeds. And now it's very easy. Find the time they will take to cross. So time equals to distance over speed, right? So clearly distance is twice L divided by some of these two speeds, L plus 4 over L plus 5. So that gives you twice L over 5L plus 4L over 5 times 4, which is 20, right? So L and L cancel, so we get 2 over 9 times 20. So that's what you get, and this time is in seconds. So we get 40 over 9 seconds. 9 times 4 is 36, 4 over 9 seconds. That is what it is. You could approximate this to, let's say, 4 point, uh, it'll be 4, 4, right? 4, 4 seconds. You can write like this also. So that is how we are going to answer this particular question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Share my videos with your friends and post questions, whichever you find or you need help with. Thank you and all the best.